an alligator with a robotic tail, a piece of plastic being inflated into a plastic bottle. These are things that you've probably never seen before. Here are 15 things that you'll see for the first time. Number 15, fridge of the future. Family lives were radically changed with the invention of the refrigerator because it allowed for food to be stored in a controlled temperature in the home. Since the first, technology has come a long way, but in many regards, the versions we have in our kitchens today follow the same basic principle. They are a cooled cabinet with shelves in them. That could well be about to change, however, with the new range of fridges for the future known as bio-robots. Instead of facing the hassle of having to open a door and place your food inside, this device is made up of a panel of biopolymer gel that you place your items directly into. It can be mounted wherever you like, vertically, horizontally, or even on the ceiling if you want. And with no motor, it doesn't make any noise at all. 90% of this fridge is usable space, and the gel is firm enough that it suspends produce in the exact place that you put it, while using a fraction of the power that current designs use. It works because of the presence of bio-robots within the gel that use luminescence to keep everything cool. The production of light, which also generates cold temperatures, will mean that the gas and chemicals used in current fridge designs will no longer be necessary. So not only will this fridge be more efficient, it'll also be far easier to recycle at the end of its lifespan. Number 14. Lingcod With more than 28,000 known species of fish around the world and being one of the most popular food sources on Earth, it's perhaps no surprise that there are ones that are wildly different to all the rest. But the ling cod is particularly unique. Also known as the buffalo cod, it's a species that's native to the west coast of North America, growing up to 60 inches long and weighing as much as 130 pounds. It's a popular fish for consumption and for fishing, and are found at depths between 32 and 328 feet. Despite the name, ling cod aren't related to either ling or cod, and were called this simply because they visually resemble those species. What's strange about the ling cod, though, is that one in five of those caught don't have the white flesh that we think of with fish, and instead theirs is a vibrant blue or turquoise color. Quite why this happens isn't entirely certain, but it's thought to be the result of their diet in some regions. Ling cod are bottom feeders, and it's possible that by eating certain types of hornworms and other creatures, they accumulate high levels of a compound called biliverdin in their bodies. This is the same chemical that causes a greenish coloration in bruises, is present in blue eggshells, and the blue-colored blood of some fish, and gives the lingcod's flesh an unusual hue as well. Luckily, though, it breaks down when cooking, so once it's ready to eat, it looks just like any other piece of fish. Number 13, one million colors. Our eyes are one of the most complicated organs in our body, and while they may not provide us with the most precise and adaptable vision in the animal kingdom, their all-around functionality are one of the reasons why we have become the dominant species on the planet. A typical human eye is able to discern a huge amount and can actually distinguish an estimated 10 million different colors. But of course, this involves many different shades of the same colors that look very similar to one another. To give an example of this, scientists have developed an image that's made up of a series of squares where the color values of each one have been altered ever so slightly. This might look at first to be a pattern that shows reds and greens turning into pinks and blues. But what you're actually looking at is 1 million different colors in one image. There are a hundred squares, and in each one, the colors are being changed by just 1%. Those next to each other look virtually identical, but if you look really closely and have a particularly sensitive eyesight, then you might be able to spot the difference. Not only is this a clever exercise in showing color variation, but it shows the kind of data our eyes and brains are continually evaluating. If we see a green leaf, for example, it's rarely just one shade of green and our brains are forced to make a decision whether to differentiate between all of the shades or simply to show us a few of them to make things easier to comprehend. Exactly the same thing that's happening in this image when some of the colors seem precisely the same. Number 12, I am Samani chicken. Chickens are one of those commonly bred species of animal on the planet, thanks to our reliance on their eggs and meat for food. But imagine for a moment what you think a chicken looks like you've most likely thought of one of the classic chicken colorations that are most often seen in farms around the world. But at the same time, you'll be fully aware that they come in a range of different colors, from browns and oranges to whites and beiges. But have you ever seen a chicken that's completely black? We're not just talking about the feathers here either, but the eyes, the beak, and the feet, and even all of their internal organs? Well, that's the case with a breed called the I.M. Samani, and it's truly one of a kind. 
Originating in Indonesia, the Ayam Samani, which means thoroughly black, has a dominant gene that causes hyperpigmentation, whereby their bodies create far more pigment than normal. Growing to a similar size to other chickens, it's thought that they have been bred for at least 800 years, and for a long time held a religious significance. Amazingly, their beaks, their tongues, their combs, wattles, skin, flesh, and even their bones are a deep shade of black, which makes them somewhat unnerving to eat. But perhaps the biggest surprise, once you know this, is the color of their eggs, which, instead of being black like you'd expect, are exactly the same pale cream color as the eggs laid by other chickens. Number 11. 20 minutes of fireworks in mere seconds. Fireworks are loved around the world and are used to celebrate important dates in the calendar by lighting up the sky in a wealth of color. With the earliest decorative rockets dating back thousands of years, technology has come a long way and enabled intricate displays that dazzle and amaze, but they don't always go to plan. One of the largest annual displays in the U.S. is the Big Bay Boom, which happens each year to celebrate Independence Day over San Diego Bay. At least half a million people line the banks to watch 20 minutes of fireworks in what is one of the most logistically complex shows in the world, and for a time spanned 14 miles and five locations. In 2012, however, it seems that organizers stretched their capabilities just a little too far. 7,000 fireworks had been set up for a 17-minute display. The computer had been programmed to control the entire event, and organizers hit the button to start it all. But there was a problem. It turned out that one of the computer files had corrupted, and instead of putting on the carefully designed display, every single one of the rockets was discharged at the same time, and they all had exploded within the space of a minute. Luckily, no one was injured, but this massive explosion in the sky represents one of the costliest firework mistakes ever, and goes just to show how easy it is for something to go wrong. Number 10. Alligator with a Prosthetic Tail Not only are alligators some of the most dangerous aquatic creatures in the world, but they're also incredibly efficient swimmers, meaning they can sneak up and pounce on their prey before they've even been seen. But living in such a cutthroat environment comes with inherent risks, and quite often alligators will suffer from serious injuries themselves. It's not too uncommon to see ones with missing legs or other appendages. But what does an alligator do if it loses its tail? It's such an important part of how they swim. You might think it's game over, but there's still hope for their survival, especially if a team of human scientists decide to try to solve the problem. Mr. Stubbs, an alligator from Arizona, lost his tail in 2013 while being transported by a group of illegal animal traffickers and after being rescued was taken to the Phoenix Herpetological Society to be taken care of. At first, they found he'd just roll on his back and was unable to self-correct his position in the water, so they realized the radical solution would be needed if he were ever to live a normal life. The answer was a prosthetic tail, one that had been cast from that of a similarly sized alligator. By using a 3D scanner and printer similar to those used in movie productions, they were able to determine the exact size tail Mr. Stubbs needed. Within just five weeks of it being attached, he was already learning how to swim again. And while there's still a long road of unlearning the habits he'd picked up in the meantime, he's expected to make a full recovery. Number 9. Plastic Bottle Before Inflation Take a look at this small plastic bottle. What do you think it's used for? While they might look like a receptacle for storing medicine or perhaps dangerous liquids, you can actually use these in everyday life, just not in the form you see in this image. They are, in fact, what a two-liter soda bottle looks like before it's inflated to full size. That's right, this is how they come off the production line, and it's much easier to transport them when they're in this size than if they were full size all along. These small PET bottles already have a normal size screw top, and the walls of the test tube-like objects are far thicker than the ones you buy that are full of soda. But that's all part of the magic of their production. In the actual bottling plant, they are inserted into a machine that places them individually into a mold of the desired shape, and gently heats the plastic so it's more malleable, and then injects a burst of air into the top. The bottle expands to the full size and is then ready to be taken along the production line to be filled up with product before being sent to stores. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Horn Shark Egg When you think of eggs, you normally imagine the type that are laid by chickens or other birds. But in the animal kingdom, eggs can come in all shapes and sizes. Perhaps the most surprising are those produced by horn sharks. But when you hear more about how they live their lives, the reason for these strange spiraled eggs becomes apparent. 
Horn sharks are a species that are native to the coastal waters of North America, where the adults swim around coral reefs in search of prey. Typically growing to around just 3.3 feet long, they're one of the smaller shark species in the region and can be recognized by their blunt heads, the ridges over their eyes, and the two large spiny dorsal fins. They are nocturnal hunters, and because they don't overwhelm other animals in terms of size, they have far more competition to deal with than larger sharks. This has led to an adaptation when giving birth to give their young the best chance of survival, and is why their eggs are formed with two spiraling flanges around them. Horn sharks are one of the few shark species to care for their young after birth, and once they've laid their eggs, they pick each one up individually in their mouths and deposit them within the crevices of the reef. The spiral formations help the eggs to wedge in tight, and over a period of a few days, they'll harden to ensure that no other animal is able to dislodge them. Number seven, a quokka. This ridiculously cute animal is called a quokka, and they're known as the happiest animals on Earth thanks to the unique shape of their mouths that makes it appear as if they're always smiling. They're a herbivorous species of marsupial that are native to some of the smaller islands off the western coast of Australia, and usually grow to around the same size as a typical household cat. Weighing up to 11 pounds, they almost look like miniature kangaroos, and while they mainly hunt for plants to eat by walking along the ground, they have developed strong rear legs that allow them to climb small shrubs and trees in search of freshly grown foliage. Like kangaroos, quokkas give birth to single babies, called joeys, and they live in a stomach pouch for the first six months of their lives. Troublingly, if a female quokka is in danger and needs to escape, she is likely to drop her joey on the ground, and its cries for help usually distract the predator for long enough that she's able to hide. The island that they're most prevalent is called Rotness Island, where there are believed to be as many as 12,000 quokka. Their only natural predators there are snakes, and they've become quite used to interacting with tourists looking for a selfie with them. This comes with a warning, though, because despite looking so happy, they can be aggressive. There are a number of incidents where careless visitors have been bitten on the hand by one. Number 6. Oconite Crystal First found on Disco Island in Greenland in 1828, Oconite is a type of silicate mineral that has since been found around the world in countries like India, New Zealand, Ireland, and Chile. It forms within basalt geodes, so at first you may not even know that you found a deposit. But once you crack the geode open, you're treated to a bizarre sight, one that looks like a rock covered in small balls of cotton wool. Because of the mineral's unusual crystalline structure, it becomes covered in very fine, hair-like crystals that extrude from the main mass in all directions. Surprisingly, although they are fragile, it's actually possible to gently bend these fibers quite some way before they'll break. You can see just why, when they were first discovered, these crystals were thought to be living animals, and it was only after close study that researchers were certain that, instead of being cute furry creatures, this was in fact a mineral. With a chemical formula of CS2H2, there aren't many applications for oconite. However, you'll only usually see it being incorporated into unusual jewelry designs. Number 5. Glasswing Butterfly there are thought to be at least 20,000 known species of butterfly around the world, and potentially many more that are yet to be discovered. And while most come in virtually every type of color you can possibly imagine, there's one type that has developed a unique means of camouflage, the glasswing butterfly. Found in regions across Central and South America, instead of relying on large spots to trick predators into thinking they're looking at a large eyeball, or vivid colors that warn them to stay away, the vast majority of a glass wing's wing is completely transparent, which means they essentially take on the color of whatever environment they're surrounded by. It makes them very difficult to spot. With bodies that grow to just over an inch long and a wingspan that's twice that, you might think that their see-through wings make them weaker than other species, but surprisingly, they're incredibly strong, so much so that glasswing butterflies can carry objects that are up to 40 times their own body weight. This transparency is an extremely rare trait in butterflies, but glasswings don't solely rely on the hope that they won't be spotted. They also collect toxins in their bodies from particular plants that they feed on, and any bird that's unfortunate enough to try to eat one will at best experience a nasty taste, and at worst, will become extremely ill. Number 4 square watermelons. A huge quantity of produce is wasted each year because, in nature, vegetables and plants don't always grow to the same shape and size, and when they take on a strange shape, people are less likely to pick them up from supermarket shelves. As a consumers, we expect everything to look just right, even if there isn't anything wrong with those that don't, but in some places, unusually shaped fruit can command an expensive premium. 
In Japan, for example, watermelons are extremely popular, but rather than the typical oval-shaped fruits that you might be used to, the most in-demand ones are perfect cubes. They were first created in the 1970s by a graphic designer and are made by attaching a cubic mold around the watermelon as it's growing, so giving it no choice but to take on the unnatural shape. Originally intended to fit more easily into fridges and to be easier to cut without rolling across the table, these square watermelons are actually purely ornamental because they have to be harvested before they are ripe and are therefore unpleasant to eat. Still, with prices of up to $100 for each one, there's no shortage of farmers who produce them, and you can now buy watermelons in a variety of shapes, such as hearts, pyramids, and perfect spheres. Number 3. Sleeping Sperm Whales Sperm whales are the largest tooth predators on Earth, typically growing up to 68 feet long and weighing as much as 88 tons. To sustain this size, they have to continually hunt food like squid, octopus, and rays. To do this, they are the third deepest swimming mammal, often diving to depths of more than 7,000 feet. They live in oceans around the world, and while they have very few natural predators, their population numbers have rapidly declined in the past century as a result of hunting by humans and the effects of climate change and pollution on their habitats. It was long thought that because they have to eat such huge quantities of food, they are a species that's almost continually awake, only taking occasional moments when part of their brain can shut down. But recent studies have found that this couldn't be further from the truth. Pods of sperm whales tend to sleep together in a formation and are thought to do so for around 7% of the time, normally between around 6 p.m. and midnight. What's amazing about the way they do this is that they don't sleep horizontally like most animals, but instead suspend themselves vertically in the water with their heads just below the surface so they can take gulps of air when needed. This leads to one of the most serene and peaceful sights in the animal kingdom, and one that very few people have had the fortune to see in real life. Number 2. The Danakil Depression The surface of the Earth is covered in a wide range of strange geological phenomena, many of which seem out of this world. If you're looking for the most alien-like environment on our planet, then there's only one true contender, the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia. This strange place sits on the edge of three tectonic plates that are all pulling away from each other, and as a result of erosion by occasional flooding by the sea, changing ground levels because of the plate movement, and a number of other geological processes, this volcanically active region is unlike any other. It covers an area of just under 4,000 square miles, and is around 410 feet beneath sea level. When taking an average of year-round temperatures, it's the hottest place on the planet and is made to feel even warmer because of the volcanoes and crater lakes that continuously release lava and bubble with the heat that breaches through from the Earth's mantle. The hot springs high in concentrations of sulfur make this place extremely inhospitable for life, despite being where remains of ancient human ancestors have been found. And it's because of this that the depression is regularly studied to understand how life may form in other worlds. Amazingly, studies have found that a number of microorganisms do actually thrive there, and it's seen as proof that alien life doesn't necessarily need conditions as perfect as they are elsewhere on Earth to exist. Number 1. Hungry Sea Stars With more than 1,500 different species spread out across the oceans of the world, the chances are that you've seen a sea star in real life before. But when you encounter them in the water, they appear to be an inanimate object and even if you do see one move, it'll only be very slightly. The truth is, though, that they don't stay in one place on the coral reef, and they're actually quite active animals. It's just that they move ever so slowly, almost as if they have a completely different understanding of the passage of time than we do. And it's only when you see them in time-lapse footage that you get an idea of how they behave. One of the most incredible things is to see them eating. They feed on various plants and animal life, and have a series of small, flexible stalks that they use to position their prey above the mouth at the center. Most species of sea stars have forcep-like jaws that can be used to pierce and pull apart shells, and the stars will devour their food by eating tiny pieces at a time. Stars aren't the only animals to function on a different timescale to us, and it's only since the development of technology that allows us to speed up or slow down footage that we've been able to truly understand their life cycles. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.